Welcome to Coral Spring Vacation Book Club. I'm Candice the Edgy Veg. And I'm Ronnie the Book Junkie. Whether you're going away on vacation <laughs> or just having a staycation at home, it's always great to spend some time cuddling up with a great book. Now, I'm a classic book lover, or as I have said in a previous video, I like my books the way I like my men. Old. And on that note, here's one of my all-time favorites, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I actually like that one too. Why should you read Pride and Prejudice? Why shouldn't you read Pride and Prejudice? It is romantic, hilarious, snarky, sarcastic, the woman invented third person narration. This book is a joy, a joy I say. The book equivalent of Ryan Gosling's Giggle and The Taste of Creme Brulee. So if you like classics, romance, and Tina Fey style sass, you should definitely check out Pride and Prejudice. I do uh, more cooking than I do reading. So I have chosen my favorite vegan cookbook. It's called Veganomicon. It's by Isa Chandra Moskowitz, who's my favorite vegan chef. The thing that I like about this book um, is that it's not just recipes, but it also has the whole front of it is just like how to cook things properly, substitutions. Um, there's an index on foods that you might not be familiar with. Like if you're going to Hawaii, learn how to cook some of those like native vegetables and fruits with this. Mm. My only complaint about this book is that there aren't very many pictures. Well, now I'm hungry. <laughs> Good. Up for best beach read, should you be so lucky to get away from this godforsaken frigid continent, I have two contemporary humorists to recommend. One is American, one is Canadian. Both are amazing. I want them to get married and have babies. First up, Kate Beaton. Kate Beaton writes historical comics based on medieval peasants who are having trouble with their dental hygiene. How are you supposed to kiss someone if your mouth smells like a graveyard? This fat pony solves mysteries. And there's pictures. And for Simon Rich, I highly recommend checking out his articles on The New Yorker or looking at his sketch comedy collection, Ant Farm. Everyone I lend these books to loves them. They are hilarious. My lovely friend Ronnie has just lent me this book to take on my vacation with me. It's called Bitch Fest. It is a anthology of articles from the magazine Bitch all about the F word, as in feminism. Yes, Am I correct? You are. Margaret Cho actually wrote the foreword and I love her. What else do I have to look forward to with this book? You have to look forward to some really spot on commentary on our terrible society. Essential reading for the modern woman. I am the modern woman. I will read this. <laughs> it's essential. My last recommendation is Gillian Flynn. Her book Gone Girl has kind of set the literary presses on fire recently, but what I read was Sharp Objects, her very first novel. And this thing, you could not put it down. It is freaking bonkers and weird. If you like crime procedurals, but you're really good at telling the twists, the twist in this one will surprise you. There's like five twists, it's crazy. It's more weird and creepy and upsetting, but also great than like 10 episodes of Law & Order SVU combined. <laughs> but beware, if you're trying to like snag a man while you're on vacation, I wouldn't read this book in front of him just because your face will do some weird shit like, what? How? Why? Who? No! Ah! It is not sexy, but it is good reading. Oh, and also it's a female perspective. So we want you to be part of our book club too. So make sure that you share your favorite books or series of books on our Facebook page and we can check them out. Also, if you want to make your own YouTube video about a great book to read on spring break, do so and we will add it to our playlist. Just send it along. As well, be sure to let us know in the comments below if you like our suggestions and to give us a recommendation or two. I'm Candice the Edge and you can watch my channel right here. I'm Ronnie the Book Junkie and God help you, you can check out my channel by clicking this. Be sure to subscribe to Coral for more spring break tips and tricks and also more books. And make sure that you visit Ronnie's YouTube channel and also Candace's where she does silly delicious things. <laughs>